afternoon, my friend. It's the first weekend after Christmas, as you see. I have arrived to Chinatown of Singapore. Tens of thousands of tourism came to Chinatown. One of the main purpose is to taste all kinds of Chinese food. As you can see, so many Chinese food in Chinatown. Come take Chinatown with its colorful Hurricane shop houses and handful historical attractions make for a pleasant joy. Chinatown is divided into four main districts, namely Krita Air, Tadlock Air, Tanjun Parker, and Bukit Castle. But the century of activities revolves around Smith, Smith and Pangonda Street. Once a home of Chinese immigrants, Chinatown nowadays is a popular place to visit for tourists, offering delicious food, joining temples, and fantastic shopping opportunities. Singapore's historic Chinatown is a busy place, filled with a mixture of old and new shops and markets. These narrow streets are an important part of Chinatown's past. Although now we can get sight of a more modern Chinatown, the history of this place is still present everywhere and you can still experience some of its original charm. Chinatown is different from the rest of cities. It is an area that is bountiful of Asian and Chinese culture and it is proud of show it to everyone who wanders through the streets. You will be filled with these different aromas and scents from the local culture and get to see more one of the best skyline views of Singapore along with art and major tourist hotspots. Chinatown Food Street Singapore is one of the best places to eat cheap, tasty and authentic local food in Singapore. As part of the wide range renovation of Chinatown, the city plan Nurse installed a brand new road, making this a perfect all day dining spot in Chinatown. Whatever the weather, there is also a new integrated cooling system as well as much wider selections of local stores and uh, shop houses, restaurants, encompassing a wide range of flavors from across Singapore, China, and the rest of Asia. Renovation works for Chinatown Complex start in March next year, but some stall holders have already started making plans. The building, which comprises a hawker centre, a wet market and sundry shops, is going to undergo a three-month-long facelift. Vanessa Lim tells us more. If you go to 等到你的第二个月，你的顾客群有来的时候，我们能赚钱吗？是不是？如果不能够赚钱，第三个月我们要开始回来。Although the government is well intentioned, but the old shop vendors are very difficult. What can be the reason here? Now I understand the original reason is that many shop owners are very old. That they worried that once they change the location of the shop, the old customers will be lost, and they cannot update to the taste of the new customers. In my opinion, most of all, merchants should strengthen the types of products they sell and retain the most authentic and original Chinese characteristics, so as to attract many tourists from all other places. Now we go back to today's starting point. Looking back on this day, we learned about Chinatowns in Singapore and found one of the problems. As a student of tourism, I have learned how to critically analyze the tourist attraction. Hope this video can give you some inspiration. Thank you for all of your support. Goodbye.